Hey guys, what's up? It's Archery from Ball and Entertainment, specifically Ball and Technology. Today we'll be unboxing the GTX EVGA or EVGA uh, GTX 470 with NVIDIA um, NVIDIA technology that definitely puts it ahead of a lot of cards out there, especially for the price. So let's go ahead and unbox it. This is from Newegg, and this is a brand new retail um, product. It's not anything we got from eBay or Open Box or anything. So let's check it out. Cut away the tape. Eh. Usually Newegg does either packing peanuts, um, where is this from, Tennessee? Um, usually Newegg does packing peanuts, um, but I think that's on a lot heavier objects. So, the EVGA GTX 470. So, packing list, and let's get in a little bit closer, and we can check out the um, inner packaging for the retail box of the GTX 470. Okay, well, we're in a little bit closer, so as you can see, the um, 1280 megabyte GDDR5 uh, 3D, supports 3D vision surround, PhysX, CUDA, and Sly, um, all NVIDIA technologies, and this is the GE Force GTX 470, um, EVGA uh, number one seller in the US. Uh, there's their product logo. And then on the top it says PCI Express 2.0 graphics card, and shows how much memory again, just the title. On this side, it looks like. Um, what you need for Sly, um, the basically showing you what you need for Sly that's in this box. It only gives you one memory card. I guess if you bought a dual memory card purchase, um, some have the dual boxed um, ones. It'd have two video cards checked off. But basically it just has a video card, a video card, and the motherboard that supports Sly. Um, then on this side, it says protect your investment. This product is eligible for a for upgrade within a 90-day period. Um, it requires 550 watt or greater power supply with a mini minimum of 38 amps on the plus 12 volt rail and PCI Express or PCI Express 2.0 compliant motherboard with one times 16 x16 whatever you say graphics slot two six pin PCI Express power connectors or four available hard disk power connectors um, so if you don't have this power sufficient um, then don't run this card um, I definitely suggest going out and picking, an, picking up a nice Corsair power supply like we did. Um, we did it for mostly our build, but if you're upgrading to a better video card, make sure your power supply and everything supports it. So then on the back, it says what it contains, life, limited lifetime warranty, the features, um, total immersion, um, futuristic graphics, free overclocking utility precision. So it's going to give you that overclocking, um, NVIDIA's overclocking uh, software. So take a look at all that. So, actually, let's cut this plastic off real quick, just so you don't have as much glare on it. Sorry about that. I don't know if y'all can see that very well, but... And then there's the whole back. And there's a little window to see your card actually in there. So let's get to it. Let's open this up. Let's break the seal. So we already got our knife open. Seal on both sides. I guess you can open it from either side. Not a very um, technologically advanced box. Just opens from both sides. Um, no, not flaps or anything to seal it shut or something. Please note, if your product is not working properly, do not return it to the store. EVGA offers direct customer service, depending on product type, blah, 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 blah. Call them toll-free number. Um, that's basically, I guess, right there so you can see it because they don't want you returning to the store. So that's all that's in the box. The same warnings down at the other side. So let's throw that over there. Uh, you have a case sticker or bumper sticker or something. Um, you have the graphics card user guide with um, color, um, colored, um, colored instructions and... I believe it's only in English. That's awesome. So only in English. Um, then here's your uh, quick setup guide. We shouldn't need that. And here's you two, um, two four-pin Molexes, two, um, two six-pin PCI um, graphics cards, power uh, Molexes. Um, so I mean, if you don't, you shouldn't need these because if you have this kind of graphics card, if you're purchasing this kind of graphics card, uh, you should also look into uh, upgrading your power source. So here's a disc for the um, all the different things 
that um, software wise come with this. Uh, please allow the graphics card to cool for a minimum of two minutes after operation before removing it from your system. Basically saying it runs really hot. And then, okay, um, it comes with a um, an adapter. And then here's a mini, yeah, a, a mini HDMI to HDMI. Um, cord and then here it is let's stand it up on its side so you can see that it's in a um, pretty interesting container it's just a clamshell type container with with uh, little clamps to keep it in so, and EVGA and then here is your graphics card good lord that thing is huge I mean not too big but definitely bigger than anything stock you'll have so there it is um, let's take off the plastic and take a look at the um, actual card. And there's a little sign that says, or a little tag that says, remove protective film before use. Basically um, saying that you'd melt that film on there. Easy. So um, put that right there. So there it is, the GTX G4. GeForce uh, GTX 470 EVGA. There's their logo. Fan NVIDIA a chipset, and then on this side it's got a um, dark type chrome finish with um, a mini um, mini HDMI and two um, advanced DVIs out. And then on this side you basically got EVGA uh, GeForce GTX 470 in your power, um, and then you have a the back of it with fan ventilation right here that you can sort of see in there but other than there that there's um, pretty much everything for the uh, GeForce GTX 470 from unboxing to um, features um, now look at the second part of this mini series on this product for a full overview of performance aspect comparing it in both of our test beds and also putting it on our new build for how to build a PC so Thanks for watching. See you guys.